Wow, it worked. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Blissful Barnyard. Is anybody out there? I'm sorry, my computer decided to die again. Stupid thing. Um, two seconds. I'll just tell people I'm live. What a night. I'm going to wait and see if anyone comes in. I want to thank everybody that's watched my video so far. Yeah. You're welcome to comment on any video or ask any questions that are in any of the videos. You, you're welcome to do that. You can also find me on Facebook. I want to say, don't forget to share my videos. If you think you know somebody that may like anything that's in my kit or is into doing bag out kits let them know about my, my channel and bye tex you want to see what i've got set up here right now i'll tell you tex my laptop died for no reason it, it screen goes off for no reason so i had to that's why i actually bought another laptop so right now that's sitting next to me in case this one weren't going to work because this one actually has a better camera and i've also got my tablet next to me i'm good i'm good how's you and the wife Disconcerting watching the next one. Good. Are you sleeping now? Because I know. Is that because you need to stay up or because you just can't sleep? I'm going to give it a couple more minutes and then I'll start my kit. And I've actually got, <clears throat> because there's actually not a lot in either of these kits, I'm going to show both of them. So, ah, uh, so I've got a hunting kit, well, a food procurement kit and a small cook kit that I'm going to show. And they actually work well together. So if you, you're going to go out, just want to go for a hike or a fish or something like that stick these on your belt and you're good to go
So Tex, are you actually a prepper? Or do you just like look the tactical stuff and the kits and stuff? Cool. It was actually prepping, being a prepper that got me into it. I love building the kits, so that's helpful. And so far, people, not just on the videos. Yeah, I get that. I really do. We don't just see you just for your, your kit videos. We 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 want to see you just do your streams, just chat. Okay. I know Amy's not going to be here because she's got no internet, but I'm actually going to start with my kits. So, right now, it's in this case, which is similar to the, the toolkit bag. It's actually over there right now. Um, you can't let other people stop you, though. There are always going to be idiots. Have you got any... Um, people that look out for dodgy comments on your in your chats and is it the normal what i would expect the trolls to be saying because of our lifestyle just as a guess Or are they saying other things? Yeah, do that. Don't give up. You liked doing YouTube. It was a way that you could communicate with other people because I know you're in a lot because you, you, you take care of your wife and stuff. So I said, <clears throat> are your trolls saying the obvious what I would expect? them to say to me basically because of our lifestyle or is it something else because if it's that they're just scum if it's just about being a lesbian oh okay shouldn't listen to trolls they have no life. And the only kick they get in life is trying to bully other people. But if you let them, they win. So, okay. I'm going to do my kit. Now, I've put it in this container because I've added other things. That's cool. The actual 
black container inside is the one that would go in my bug out bag if i want to put the extras in they'll go in too but so right now this is a full kit this has hunting and fishing and traps so that's part of the hunting so i'm going to get down to it i'm going to weigh it for you with everything that i have in there as it is <clears throat> which comes to three pound five which is in kilos one pound five uh one kilo five so <clears throat> i'm going to show you what i've got in here and tell you about some of the stuff so again it's it's got the molly on the back this is just a black container like my camo one so i probably will change the bag get another one it has the skirt on it again it is waterproof it does have a hole in the bottom to let any liquids out if there was any liquids in there so a drainage hole so <clears throat> what i actually put in okay i've got my monocular i've actually got it in the container so if i didn't want to put it in here i could put it on my back on my belt now my monocular why do i use monocular instead of binoculars well i have weird eyes <laughs> as you'd expect i can't um look at a binoculars out of both eyes it irritates my eyes for some reason so i like monoculars now mine is a knockoff bushnell it does have the cap on the bottom and the protector clap on the cop uh, cap on the top it does have the adjustable um bezel and the adjustable bezel down here i can't remember you can actually put it on a stand as well if you wanted <coughs> it does have in its bag i actually have the instructions i do know how to use this one i have actually sided it up properly mm, i can't remember <coughs> it doesn't say what but it does have good view anyway um get something that works for you um whether it's binoculars or monoculars it's always good to have it for security or looking for things that you can trap or things like that so and it's a hunting kit you may do it at night so quick headlamp um it's the same as the white one that i had in the toolkit and did i have it in the toolkit or did i have it in the first kit? i can't remember um but this one's just black it blinds me and it has the red light again flashing and it is actually adjustable the monocular or the headlamp I am actually looking at other headlamps right now. Um, maybe a Petzl or a Tiger. I'm not, I'm not sure. <coughs> I mean, they're good. But, I mean, they'd be good around the farm when I when we get it. So, okay, what else do we have? We have a Mora knife. Now, there's lots of different Mora knives you can get. Um, I wanted something that was a slightly thicker blade. Yeah, I, I actually have another monocular, but it's actually in Springfield. Um, and I have loads of headlamps. I kind of collect them. <laughs> so I actually got the Mora Robust. It's a... Uh, I like this one because it, it fits better in my hand. Um, I do have to um, square the back off 
because when you first get the normal, even the companion, the spine isn't square, so you can't use it on um, a flint for or ferro rod. Um, so you have to square off the back, either with a grinder or um, basically you just grind it down. Um, this one, I th think, is carbon. Yeah, it's a, a carbon. <clears throat> but it it's manageable. It means I can I can um, fillet fish with it, scale them. I can gut squirrel, rabbit, whatever with this, skin it. Um, I can um, make feather sticks. Um, so, and I need to stop saying um. It's just a good all-round knife. Obviously, everyone knows what a Mora knife is. So, it is a good knife. It's a good, solid, easy, sharpen knife. Keeps its blade. Obviously, it has the knife sheath. Now, these aren't great knife sheaths, I will say. It does have... I don't have a group, but I do have a Facebook page. I'm, I think I'm already friends with you on my Facebook page. Hey, Ginny. You're going to have to go back and watch the beginning of the video to see what's been on. Um, it does have a positive click, but how you put it on your belt isn't very good. So I'll probably make a sheath for this, probably in leather. <clears throat> but it's a good knife. And... I love my morph. To the point, this is actually the third one I've bought. I actually have two in Tennessee. So I bought it again. Um, not right now. I Once I move to the States, I'll probably set up a group. Because then I'll, I'll be doing more of the stuff that I really want to do. The proper homesteading videos more tactical stuff because I don't have to worry about walking outside with a knife. I can, they, I will say there probably will never be guns on my channel, no matter how much I will have them, basically because I don't want people knowing what I have. I don't mind you knowing about my knives, but the security that I have, I will not be showing you. So, <clears throat> although I will say for this kit, I am going to have buy a Henry rifle. Why would I buy a Henry survival rifle? Well, it's a 22-inch gun uh, rifle, and it fits into the buttstock. The whole thing, you can fit um, two um, clips in it, 22 um, bullets, are small, lightweight, easy to carry. The gun itself isn't heavy. It's easy to carry because it just folds up, sticks in the butt of the gun, and there you go. You stick it in your bag. You've got a full hunting gun, really. Now, no, it's probably not going to go for bigger items, uh, bigger animals, but for feeding your family in an emergency it it's a good gun to go for at a reasonable price for what it is now there are other guns now that are um that basically fold down small to, to easy pack for this sort of thing but henry was the first one they keep their, their quality is there and they stayed at a reasonable price they didn't have to <clears throat> i think it's less it's less than 200 dollars if i remember rightly i can't remember but it's a good gun for a hunting kit so i'm telling you what will be going in this kit once i get to the states and i i can buy a gun so okay what else have we got Obviously, with a hunting kit, this is my actual hunting kit, the one that I will be carrying. These, obviously, that's part of it. The extra bits are something I'm going to decide on when I'm 
I fill the big bag. So I'll put them there for a minute. So basically these are extra or add-ons. So I actually put a rat trap. I have put it in a bag. Basically to keep it a bit quiet. What I would do with this and what I should have done with this is I need to drill a hole to put some paracord through so I can tie it to a tree or wherever I'm going to then put it. I wish always also be spraying it a different colour, whether it be brown or green. You could camo it. But they're easy enough. Hey, Jean. They're easy enough to set. They're cheap enough to buy. And you don't need, um, there's never going to be any qualms about whether you're going to be allowed to use them. There are a couple of things in this kit that you will have to check. Your state laws. In this country, you're, you're not supposed to use them. But obviously, in emergency, law ain't my friend. So I'm going to use them. So there is a rat trap. Obviously, I need to do a few things to this one to make it better for the kit. So that's the rat trap. Now, although I've got a, a fishing kit in the black container I just showed you, I actually added my pen kit. Now, let's put this together. I probably should have done this first. These are very cheap, whether you get it. I think Walmart sells them as well. I'm not sure, but I know um, Amazon sells them, and I know they're less than 15 bucks. So they are ambidextrous. You can put it whichever size you want. Easy enough. You put, put it on whichever side you want. Put your bolt on. I will also be changing, if if this was staying in my kit, I would. See, and that, that's the thing, but because they're so cheap, you can just buy, buy a couple and then buy a couple more when you've got some more money. So put your handle on. Now, this is the pen. This is actually the rod. So you take the rod end, the cap off, keep the cap, and it does go to a full rod, and then it's got a. Probably, <clears throat> you've got a couple of reel holders here. Let's get it. In the right place. Snap them over the top. Now, th this is a good thing to just keep in your car anyway. If you're bored and you just want to go for a fish. So, there you go. There's the rod. No, it's not massive. But uh, from the reviews, okay, Ginny, no worries. <laughs> it does have a lot of flex. I've seen people, I've seen other videos of people catching big fish on this. I haven't actually used this one. I've used a friend's one, and we just got a um, little perch. So... If you just want a, a rod to stick in your car that's cheap, because you don't want to put really expensive stuff in your car in case it gets nicked, unless money is not an issue. And then obviously it's up to you. So, pen rod, and, the, and then I don't know how many. Our bags have done different from yours. I've just got a plastic bag. Whether I'm going to put um, bait in it, maybe put some meat in it if I've caught any, you know, just have a bag. So 
my actual hunting kit, I've got two big elastic bands, and they are big ones. So there's two of those. Bandanas are a lifesaver, whether you're having a wash with it, whether it's protecting your head, whether you're filtering water, get the gunk out of the water before you drink it. Always have some sort of bandana or um, a shemag in your kit because they really are a lifesaver. I do have some paracord. I would like to add some more. Now, if you remember this box, I actually have quite a few of these and in different colours. So I put the kit together in here. Now, let's open it up. I'll show you it as it stands. Okay, so that's actually my kit. So let's show you what I've got. I've got two yo-yo reels. Now, if you haven't heard about these, they're an automatic fishing reel. Now, this is the thing I said that you will have to check your state laws on because a lot of places don't allow them. But these don't just have to be fishing reels. You can use these as traps for animals or traps for people to protect your campground. If you tie some string on here, I don't think I can, no, because I was going to use that. You tie, there's a little hole here. If you tie it up to the, wherever you're going to be hanging it, so if, you, if you're doing it off, say you are using it as a fishing rod for fishing. If there's a Yo-yos, you can pick these up on Amazon. They're really cheap in America. Like here, these cost me six pound a go. I know I can get a box of six for $20 in America on Amazon. You can either look it up as a yo-yo reel or an automatic fishing reel. And how they work is... So you string it up here. You do have a swivel on it. So if you then add some fishing line and your hook, a couple of weights, you've strung it up and you lead it out to whatever length you're going to want it. And then as soon as... So, and then you get it to lock. There's a locking, basically... Doing it the opposite way around is hard. <clears throat> you pu pull it down, and actually, if you pull it up, it will lock it. So it's then locked in place. So once you, um, you can have a look in Walmart or one of the the fishing stores. They might have them. So you've locked it. If a fish comes on, I'm going to be careful with this because it's going to slap my fingers. It, it just automatically catches it. So I actually have two of these in here. I, I have more for other kits that I'm building for other people, namely Amy and Mike. So I have two of those in there. Now don't. Don't take this for what it is. This is artistic wire, so craft wire, but it is 22 gauge. So it's nice and strong. It's not going to snap easy, but it does twist easy. And I found it cheap. I wanted to get green because for a trap for animals, I want something that's going to sort of camouflage itself. So I went for the green. And it actually worked out cheaper doing it this way than doing it any other way. So I have got 15 yards, I have, which is 13.7 meters. <coughs> so I've got 
So if you're going to put a trap together, obviously you're going to take your, how much you want for your trap. But it twists easy. It's easy enough to cut. Perhaps I'll do a video on how to make traps. I don't know. Um, but it twists easy. It's nice and strong. If you wanted to double it up for something bigger, stronger, that's easy enough to do as well. So I've got a nice amount of wire for making traps. I do have a pair of snips. So if I'm cutting fishing line, if I'm cutting wire, these will actually cut, cut them. They're nice and sharp. I just wanted something small for the kit. It does have a safety lid. So I put a pair of snips in. Now, if any of you know anyone that does embroidery and they keep their threads really nice and um, tidy, you might have seen these before. These are embroidery thread um, bobbins. And I was looking for something that I could put a nice amount of wire, a fishing line or um, string or something like that, but wasn't going to take up a lot of room, that was going to be lightweight and that I could use for fishing if I wanted. Now, I'm not going to undo this because. I can't, I can't. <laughs> so I've got eight pound fish line. This is monofilament fishing line. I um, can't remember what brand I bought, but it, it was a middle of the range, price range. But it has a nice amount on there to go fishing for, with. Obviously, if I do take the pen reel, there's other line on there as well. So I have... quite a lot on there actually I sat here for hours doing this so I have eight pound fishing line on it I also have uh, so far. I have 15 pound um, a braided line Because if I'm going to catch something heavier, obviously I'm going to need something a bit thicker. So, again, it's on the um, same thread, thimble thing, bobbin. And then I also have some string, some string that you've seen in other kits. The, the waxed thread for leather making it's nice and strong so i put a good amount on here now i can use it for hanging up these i can hang up any animals as i'm getting them or if i need to do that <clears throat> i can make um a line to keep my fish alive and thread it through their lip i forgot what that's called we don't use them in this country very often. So that was all new to me. So I put a good amount of that on there. I do have the instructions for the yo-yo reel in case I get brain dead or I have any issues. And then to make it easy, I actually got what I'd do with it. <sighs> what did I do with this? Get another one out. So I could show you better. This is a pillbox, a travel pillbox. You can use whatever sort you like, but so I could show you and turn it upside down and stuff without things falling out. I got my spare ones out. Now it has two containers with lids, so you can keep things tidy. It does come completely apart if you really want it to, but to keep my stuff together. 
so and what I put in mine I have it set up like this so can you see so inside I put I put fake bait well some fake bait different maggots fake maggots I put swivels I also put in case I want to make my own rod up I put some eyes in just normal DIY eyes Let me do it this way so you can see it better so if you put these into a stick you can run these through and then just run your cat run your fishing line through and you've got a nice little fishing rod I have I love these. These are um, night floats, but they the glow stick ones. The packet says they last for seven hours. I am telling you now, they last for more than 24 hours because I've tried them and I've played with them many, many times because they make me laugh. <laughs> Basically, you, you crack it. I'll do it here. You crack it and it starts glowing. Give it a shake. Yeah, I'll show you. <clears throat> See? Hey, Ginny. So, when you get the packets, there's normally five in a packet. Let's turn the light back on. And you also get um, the things to attach them. That, little rubber things to attach to the line because they're out they're actually for fishing but i actually use them for emergency lighting as well so if you want quick easy light these are brilliant so you can even see it in this light how much it's glowing <laughs> I normally put these in quite a few of my kits. I think my first kit I did when I video did the video in America, like these were in them. <coughs> so these are night fishing glow sticks. I'll find the link for for whoever. Text, you might have to get somebody else to get you one because they are online. These are Amazon. So but they are really cheap. So that's that side. And then in this side, I've got different weights, different, different weights, different size hooks. I've also got hooks on some lures. So there's different lures in here. different ones so depending on what I'm doing but it was a nice easy way to put a full fish kit together in a little container that's going to last a good amount of time excuse me so so you can see it more there you go So that's my food procurement. Now I do have a small kit, another small kit that I've put together. It's not a full kit. It hasn't got a, a to be a, a proper kit. It needs a fire kit, but I haven't put one together yet. So I will show you what's in here so far. And this isn't the bag it would stay in because I would buy a condor bag because they're stronger, more reliable. So it has a front pocket, and in here I have an Esbit stove. For those of you that don't know what an Esbit stove is, it's 
a fold out stove it has little legs you can use wood in this you can use um fuel tabs you can use whichever fuel tabs you want but when you buy this it actually comes with a box of fuel tabs i will show you this thing i will show you what this comes with now these are just little ones you can get bigger ones and i have got bigger ones actually this is broken that one's broken that's why it's so small there you go some fuel couple of fuel tabs they burn quite a while now this would only be this wouldn't necessarily be cool this wouldn't necessarily be for cooking food but it's good for boiling water so basically if you if you caught fish or you've caught caught a squirrel if you're going to eat that or a rabbit you can boil it up on one of these <laughs> i'll show you what it looks like with the cup on top of it in a minute so inside I, and it's a food, food uh, uh, cook kit so there's another bag in there if i want to collect food like wild wild edibles or more water you can collect it in there now inside i have a tin it hasn't got anything in it at the minute i would put um like fire stuff in here um if i find some fat wood or if i make some um my brain's gone if i scrape off some wood to make a fire or i could put um sorry guys my brain is gone although it is 10 to 3 in the morning here vaseline soap cotton balls you could also because it's a um, metal tin you could use this to make char cloth so i always like having a metal tin and the rest of the kit is now i have a soil bag you will see why soon i do have a metal spork so you have the spoon the fork the knife obviously if you're normal you're going to have a knife on your side so if you want a really sharp knife you're going to have it on your side but just for a quick eat quick spork that's a stainless steel one i have a metal clean can thing why i would have a metal one over a plastic one is because i can boil water in this obviously plastic one you're gonna have to be careful now you actually can boil water in one of these if you stick this yes it's gonna go all black and nasty but it's not you are going to be able to drink the water yes Ginny, i did you are going to be able to drink the water if you stick this on a fire you can boil this water you can purify it by boiling it it's not going to last very long if you use this one but in an emergency if you find one of these by the river and you want to purify some water stick this in a fire you are going to be able to do that but because i wanted something longer lasting i bought myself a clean canteen now i can't remember no okay this is only 800 mil for my actual full kit i would probably buy a liter so i know where i am with my water better um but see the stuff inside we'll come to that i also have a standstill mug this is a tonka tonka mug standstill mug again but obviously you can i'll show you inside i have a cloth so if i'm going to wash up i've got a cloth if i'm going to have an actual fire i've actually got some tin foil so i can either wrap my food up and put it in the tin foil there is quite a lot here so i'm not going to fold it all the way but 
actually it's actually folded over like four or five times there's actually quite a lot so a good amount of tin foil is always good to have in any sort of kit because you can use it for so many things so i've got the Donker. Is that marker? There you go. It actually has the measurements inside. I don't know if you can see that. So if you if you've cooked up a, a mountain house or something like that and you need a certain amount of water, you have got the grades on there. And this isn't really easy. So once you've lit it, you've got fire coming out of here. You put your cup on top, boil away. See? Put fire. You can put this one on here as well. That's not going to be as stable. So I might get some metal mesh that I could then sit this on and make that more stable. So inside here, I have got I had this out earlier. Why are you being stupid? I have my soya. Now with the so when you get your kit for your soya. Now I've not really talked a lot about water purification in any of my videos ever but this is what i swear by now i've actually had i've had need to use this before we got some sort of bug in our water and we weren't allowed to wash washing it we weren't allowed to drink it we weren't allowed to cook with it so i use this i've actually this is another one i've I've had a few. <laughs> um, I've actually drunk my river water with this as well. So the actual kit that you get when you buy it is like this. This is what you get. You There is normally a lid on there. I don't know what I've done with my lid. Um, so this is a gravity. You can use this as a gravity fed. You can use it as just a straw. So has a cap on the end you can either do it that straight drink straight out of the river so or you can fill one of these up and then if you fill this up with water now i will actually say the smart water bottles they work really well with these so you'd fill this up with water and then it will come through and you can then put it into a clean container if you've got time for that. You can squeeze it through. You can, um, these also go on the, the camelback, um, the water bladders. You can put this on the cat, on Hey, creative redundancy. You can actually put this on the cord with the water, the mouthpiece and drink it straight from there. I love these. Now, I know these are not expensive. These are less than $20. Um, you can buy them in packs in America. You. You can buy them in different colours. So if you wanted to buy it for a little girl, you could get a pink one. I tend to go for the blue because it was the original colour of soya. It does come with instructions on the... I actually still have the package. I don't have the front part of the package. Right, so it actually comes in this container. And it has instructions on the back. There are also other videos on YouTube on how to use this, how best to use it. Now, they give you a plunger as well, because as with any carbon, 
filter you need to clean it out so basically you put clean water in here yeah blue's my favorite color too see blue <coughs> put it on the end flush it out go through a few times now they say this will do i can't even remember how, how much it says i think it says fifty thousand liters or gallons or something i wouldn't push it that far and it takes it down to 0.1 now at one time this was the only one that would take it down to 0.1 there are now a couple of other ones that do but i i love soya so these will be through the house these will be through the kits and they're easy enough to carry all you need is that just to go out for a hike all you need is a water container and your straw once you get home you can back flush it so it all fits in there nice obviously if i was actually going out this would be outside of the clean canteen in the container <coughs> so this would be full of water because I would never go out and not have water if I was going out. So go get yourselves a Soya Mini. These are the Mini. I wouldn't bother getting the Squeeze because basically it's a more expensive version of this. I can't see that it's that much different. It calls it the Squeeze, even though you can use this like that. <coughs> so there you go. That's what i've got in my kit in my small kits anyone got any questions on anything that i've shown so far or in in the video No. Okay then. I'll see if I can find a couple of links for a few of these things and I'll put it in the about section of the video. I'll probably be tomorrow now though because 3 a.m. people. Some people need to sleep. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tex. Thanks, Creative Redundancy. Creative Redundancy, I've actually got more kits on my channel now, so you can go back and watch a few videos. Yeah, I knew your hubby would like this kit. Easy enough to put together. Any sort of pill container like this, yeah will work for a fishing kit now there's different sorts i can actually show you okay so this is a This is actually a fishing. <laughs> oh, this has got pills in it. Oh no, it is a fishing kit. Yeah, look, another fishing kit I've built. <laughs> Lots of fishing kits in my house. Um, but I've also used these as pill containers for bug out bags. So just find a container that you're happy with that you can put your stuff together it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be the best in the world actually let's show you this so i've got floats and there's a couple of um standing blades there 
these are actually I think it comes with the these come with I said these come with rubber bits so it comes with a clear one so you can stick on it either comes with an orange one or another yellow one so and then you just stick that on there obviously your fishing line will go through clip that in and then you have your glow stick so i thought i'd burnt my laptop then and i haven't so I just like building lots of kits in different containers to find the one that works for me best. So I'm glad you all came. I hope you enjoyed what I, I showed you. And I'll be back again. I say two weeks because then I know I'm good. But if I put another video up in between then, I'll let you know. So be blessed. I'll see you all around. Be good. Bye-bye.